What up, guys? This is Between the Pylons. I'm John Camacho, and this is a rookie check-in for Brian Thomas Jr. After one month of his rookie season in the books, I am ready to say that this dude is a budding superstar. It is insane because this receiver class is just so freaking good that Brian Thomas Jr., I feel like, is being just forgotten about a little bit. So what I want to do first, and I feel like I'm doing these videos in a different order every single time, but I, I kind of like that because every player is a little bit different. I want to just show you guys a couple clips first, right? I want to start here on a absolute just miss by, uh, by Trevor Lawrence here. And I'm going to pause it because look, this is rookie on rookie crime here. All right. Uh, all right. So again, just, little double move here at the top of this oh god just absolutely takes his soul look at this puts him puts him in a wash cycle gone so insanely wide open why i mean trevor lawrence this is a touchdown this is i'm looking at trevor lawrence now like okay your feet are set no they're not what did you do last second Sorry, I, I'm getting off topic, but look at this. Normal drop, normal drop, normal drop right here. You're waiting and you're not you don't trust your guy. You don't trust your guy. Throw it right now. And he takes another little look, little half step hitch or something. Just I mean, just bad mechanics. Trevor, come on. Throw it right here. Boom, boom. Boom. Gone. Just threw it a little too little too late. Put a little bit too much on it. Whatever you want to say. Like, he's gone. Trust your guy to make the play. You know that if he wins on this route, he's wide open. Well, trust your guy. He's he's a superstar. You've seen him enough. He's a future superstar. Just a miss. Just an absolute miss. There we go. Just, just so terrified of the out. Look at, look at the coverage he's getting. They just said, no, you don't get to go to the outside. And he says, all right, free pass across the middle of the field. Trevor, don't, don't air me this like you did against the, against Buffalo. He's still make some weight. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Why does he have to wait for the ball? That ball should be right here. That ball should be out here. He should be able to catch it and run. Instead, he's got to stop and wait and gets damn near no yards after catch. Sorry, this is not meant to be a shit on Trevor Lawrence video, but dude, he is, I mean, for a guy who's the number one pick in the draft and was like the guaranteed, you know, second coming of Andrew Luck or whatever you wanted to call him. <sighs> It's not enough. Here's another one. TV copy here. We can see him at the top of the route. Another just a long developing crossing route type thing, but he does get him in stride and just yards after catch. Beautiful. All right. And then right here, this is actually a really good throw, but what about just go up and get it 50, 50 ball. You're, you know, six, three, you run a four, three, nine. Uh, you're big, strong, and fast. What can you do? Not a ton of separation, not not nothing special. Just just get the ball. Yep, got the ball, clean. Gotta love it. I love it. I love this dude. I think he's special. I really do. I think he is. I think he's special. I'll just put it that way. Uh, let's let's get into uh, the stats here for you guys. I'm gonna pull it up right now. I'm talking about 275 receiving yards on 17 uh, receptions and two touchdowns. Um, let's do this real quick. And then I'll put you on the screen real quick. Doo, doo, doo. Here we go. Um, I always say this. I'm not really sure how allowed I am to do this, but whatever. Um, yeah, two uh Two hundred and seventeen. Excuse me. Two hundred seventy-five receiving yards on seventeen receptions. I just want to look at uh, some of the advanced stats. Eighty-two uh, yards after catch, which is pretty solid. Um, and again, I, I showed you one clip where it, it should have been more. He should have more yards after catch. He really should. Uh, had the bomb touchdown against uh, against uh, uh, Atlanta. Excuse me. Um, 
nothing crazy out of split. Playing uh, 22.1% from the slot, 77.9% uh, from out wide. I don't know if I love that. I, I, I and just generally as a, um, as a fan of like complex offenses, I, I'd like to see a little bit more variety there. You're playing essentially 75% of the time outside, 25% in time or inside, give or take. I, I'd, I'd like to see him just utilized in the offense, be the first read on every single uh, passing uh, route just across the board. Like he, this dude should not get any less than, you know, seven to 10 targets a game. That's what he should be at every single time. Um, and again, I, he's just getting just us. He's just getting sprinkled in in the slot for here and there. I think he should be you know, utilize him both both inside and outside. I, again, this is this is the modern NFL. He's clearly the outside number one receiver. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I'm just trying to say that you know modern NFL. Um, pretty much every team with a number one that has kind of a complex and unique offense uh, finds complex and unique ways to get your guy the ball get him the, the ball in a lot of different ways you know I, I don't know that's just my two cents I'm by no means a schematic expert by any stretch of the imagination but I just I hate when guys are lining up in the same part of the field every time especially when you're that dynamic of a weapon right the Minnesota Vikings did send three picks to move up three spots uh to to land uh, I believe they were landing um the Defensive end out of Alabama. I'm blanking on his name right now, uh, which that part doesn't really matter because uh, the Jags ended up turning that 23rd overall pick into Brian Thomas Jr., which I mean, just insane that he kind of fell that far. I think there was a lot of uh, there were a lot of non-player specific issues. I don't know if it was off the field or if it was injury, but it wasn't on the field film related issues uh, for the reason he fell. I think he was kind of considered a top top 20, top 15 lock for a good portion of the uh, draft cycle before that started to fade away a little bit, uh, but also got a fourth and third round pick next year. So we're going to able to going to be able to stock up and on a team that, I mean, clearly needs more talent to uh, be competitive because they're not, uh, they're not winning yet and they're going to need, they're going to need more players to win. It's the, uh, the most obvious take you'll ever hear on camera. So you're welcome for that. All right, guys. Just wanted to throw that out there because I did think it was interesting. They got Brian Thomas plus three more players on top of it or three more assets, however you want to look at it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. That was a rookie check-in on Brian Thomas Jr. Check back for more rookie check-ins across the NFL. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.